Peace is good. We'll get to another hip hop unreview. This is part 269. The album that we'll be reviewing this evening is uh, Sheik Lutz with his uh, debut album titled uh, Walk With Me, released in 2003. Um, I already did a review on the first two Locks albums. I did a review on Jada Kiss's debut album, Kiss Again Goodbye. Um, I also did uh, South P um, against the gentleman um, yesterday. Uh, so now, as promised, I will be doing this review, all right? Um, you guys should know who he is. Um, yeah, one-third of the LOX, or LOX, one-fourth of um, D-Block, because, you know, D-Block, um, having J-Hood included, and then later on in the mid-2000s, mid to late-2000s, people like Bully, um, Team Arliss, uh, SC.Raw, you know, people like that just started getting to the collective large amounts, you know, people like that, all right? So this album spawned uh, two singles. The singles are um, OK, which there is a video for, and uh, Mighty D Block, aka Two Guns Up, all right, which was heavy in the mixed stage game, which I'll get into um, later on in the video, all right. Uh, so let's show what the album looks like. As you can see here, uh, Sheik right here, all white, and you got the white do rag and the headband. That was a big thing in, in the 2000s. I mean, I did that too, so. Um, then you can see, like, you know, like the building, whatever the case may be. You got the track listing, nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. All right, open it up, it's kind of the mirror image of that building. Um, no, nothing too crazy. Um, then you got, um, I forgot to take this off, but that's uh, J Hood right there, and that's the uh, Sheik Loops. It says, uh, next up from you know, the camp is J Hood. It was supposed to come out, um, next the next year, 2004. It was supposed to be the album Tales from the Hood, but that never came out, unfortunately. Well, it never came to fusion. Alright. Let's open it up. So you see right here, you got J, um, that sheet in a, um, you know, in a D block hoodie. Pretty cool. Alright, you got the track list and you got the production, the features, and all that stuff. Alright, open it up. You got the thank yous. You see, like, a housing project right here. You got the shoot sign. You know, you got the broad wire. It was like you know from like a you know like a um, like a like a jail or something like that, and um, you got Sheik Lutz and the khaki like Dickies, um, fit you know what I mean. So that was the thing at that time. And let's get into the features of the album. So we want feature uh, kept to a minimum. Uh, Styles P, um, Jada Kiss. Uh, let's see who else. J Hood, and then the rest of D Block. Uh, Jada Kiss, Styles P, and J Hood. So, features are kept to a minimum. And let's get into the producers. Uh, producers, uh, which include Livesin. He's a dope producer. He does, he does, I, back in the early to mid 2000s, even throughout the, pretty much the 2000s, Livesin, uh, Vinny Iro, Super Mario, uh, they did a lot of stuff for their mixtapes and stuff like that. So, um, Coco Chanel, the DJ that used to be in on Rap City back in the day, the female uh, Coco Chanel, uh, she actually did the beat for that. Um, Alchemist, everybody knows who that is. Uh, Vinny Idol, Super Mario, who was I just mentioned before. Um, Super Mario, they have dope, dope, dope mixtapes from Styles P. You know what I mean? Like all the, you know, Ghost in the Sheen, Ghost in the Shell. If you guys know, you guys know. Um, I mentioned Vignano, Super Mario, let's see who I was live I mentioned Mr. Divine. Um you guys should be familiar with that name. The twins or AK DJ twins from um you know Death Squad fame and Green Lantern, DJ Green Lantern. Those are the producers of the album. Now let's get into the meats and potatoes like I usually do, which is the breakdown of the tracks like I usually do. Um <clears throat> Alright, so track one is the song For You. Uh, pretty much a dope way to start the album. You know, uh, you guys know, you know, Sheik Luch, you know, he's like the braggadocio, violent one of the group. Um, I like the line, um, dope way to start the album, dope beat. I like the line when he said, put the hammer to your hating mouth, nail it shut, get off my dick and get you some butt, try and nut, cause this nut is macadamia, keep it, keep the mat, and I'm Damien. This game don't want this game you don't want me to play you play me in this game you don't want to play me in so i thought that was a dope way to start the album very dope um track two okay uh that's produced by coco chanel that was the first single of the album uh, no i'm sorry that was the second and final single of the album uh there is a video for it 
Um, it's an okay track. Um, it's not one of my favorite tracks of the album. B is decent. It's like his um, his segue of trying to make like a commercial track, but it just didn't work for him. It just didn't really do anything for me. So I just could have done without that song. Track three, turn it up. One of my favorite tracks of the album. Really enjoyed that beat. I uh, love the beat for that. I love the yo know, like that. That's that beat is sinister. You know what I mean? The synths and the drums. You know, back when Alchemist was on the ASR ten. Um, love, love that song. That song was actually featured on the Insomnia mixtape that Alchemist put out. I think back in, I think that same year actually. I think in o two o three. It like was one of those. You know, that song was actually featured on that. I like the line when he says. Make a decision before I make my incision. Head on collision, head body division. Spirit fly away like a motherfucking pigeon. Take that to your grave if y'all niggas behave. Yeah, I love that. Fucking dope. Went in on that joint right there. So that's track three, turn it up. <clears throat> track four, um, How Many Guns? Um, that was produced by Vinny Idol and uh, Super Mario. Um, I wasn't really too crazy about the beat, honestly. And they had a questionable line when he said, um, and I dealt with more beef than a fucking patty. Come on, Sheik. Like, that's the best you can do, bro. Like, come on. Man. That, that, that was so fucking weak. Like, that was trash. Utterly trash. You know, I could have done without that song, too. Um, track five, um, In and Out, um, SP, um, featuring Style Speed, um, that was also uh, a song um, produced by Vinny Allen, Super Mario. Uh, that song was kind of like an in and out between, like a back and forth between Styles P and Sheik himself. Um, another one that he, um, it was a decent track, you know what I mean? Um, but he had like a questionable track, a questionable line where he said, I'm the le I'm the leather shits. You the Michael Jackson glove. Like what? Like that. That just makes no sense. Like I didn't really get that. Yeah, I could have. Yeah, the, the, I mean the song is decent. It's just you know that line. I just wasn't too crazy about. So so I was track five in and out. Sp uh, track six. I forget. Um, definitely one of my favorite tracks with the album. Um. That was also produced by Vinny Idol and Super Mario. Um, in this track, he also talks about how um, how he came up in the game, and he also explains how Jadakiss and Styles P's um, albums were kind of like critically um, didn't get as much love as they should have when they first came out. Because you know, even some of my people in the comments had um, some stuff to say about the Kiss and Give Goodbye album and things like that. It's like it's not as good. Um, they said that you know. Um, they prefer Kiss of Death, which I will do a review on. Don't worry, I'll do that. I got you guys. Um, you know, and then Styles P, you know, the album didn't get, it was like poorly promoted, which is kind of sad. Um, yeah, but, you know, he just talks about that. So I thought it was pretty cool. I love the beat for that. Kind of has like a 70s, 70s um, vibe to it. You know what I mean? Really dope. All right. Um, yeah, so that was track six. I forget. Track seven. Walk With Me, the self-titled track that was produced by uh, Liveson. Um, in this track, you know, he talks about, you know, trying to make a difference in the world, that if everyone was positive, um, the world would be a, a, a better place. Um, he said some shit. Um, I like the line where he said, a place where the death penalty is gone, no abortions, life only lives on. Yeah, so that was deep. I like, I like that. That was pretty cool. All right, so that's track seven, Walk With Me. Track eight, crazy. Um, that was produced by Mr. Divine. Um, I wasn't too fond of the beat, and my issue with the song was like the intro was way too long. Like it was just them dudes talking, whatever the case they were talking about. But it was like a minute and a, a minute and a half long. It's like it was way too long. It's just I could have done without that, honestly. Um, yeah, crazy. wasn't too crazy about that song. <laughs> Pun intended, right? So yeah. Alright, so that's track 8, crazy. Then we got track 9, um, 10 Hut. Fucking dope track right there. Uh, featuring JD Kiss, one of my favorite tracks of the album. It kind of has like that, uh, you know, that marching band, you know, for a football game. It kind of has that feel to it. Um, dope, dope track. That easy could have been a single, in my personal opinion, but very dope. 
Um, I like the line by Jada Kiss when he says, one in your chest, the other 16 in your hat. Let forensics try to figure out the meaning of that. They robbed you before, so you know what it means to get yapped. You, you, and you a bitch, so you know what it means to get slapped. Whew, killed that. That was dope. So that's track nine, uh, 10 HUD. Track 10, uh, How I Love You, that was produced by uh, Super Mario and Vinny Idol. Um, in a nutshell, it was like his version of um, Comments, I Used to Love Her, like how he compared it, um, his love for hip hop as a girl, and how it's been used and abused over the years, and that kind of thing. It's a cool track. Um, I like the line when he said, um, you go around other people, especially kids, you make them, you make them happy. Even brothers, um, even brothers doing their biz, and I ain't jealous at all. Go out and spread your wings, and you can hang with pop. Just pick up the phone when it comes, when it rings. Yeah, so that's that's what I got for now. So that was pretty cool. Um, track ten, um, how I love you. Track eleven, uh, three five four Tarantino. Uh, that was produced by um, Mr. Divine. It's a dope track. It's kind of like a um like a hotel type of track, you know, it tells about how, um, you know, it tells about, you know, uh, uh, a different street crew trying to move into their block, into the Sheik's block, you know, trying to take up all the work and, you know, competition, he ain't having none of that, so you know how that goes, you gotta run them off, shoot them off and that kind of thing, um, I like the line when he said, I cut one yardie underneath his fucking beard, still clapping, got every, everybody running scared, they ain't they ain't backing down. We ain't bitching. Niggas coming out the house with the Hitchelin under the Michelin. Throwing a clip or two. Or you think we went to war with Colin, um, Colin Powell's crew. Ooh, killed that. Um, so that was track uh, 11, 354 of Tarantino. Definitely a dope track right there. Um, I remember before I used to kind of skip over that track. But then I would like re-listen to it before um, when I was doing the review. I was like, oh shit, it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Um, so that was track 11, 3, 5, 4, Tarantino. Uh, track 12, um, Don't Mean Nothing. That was a dope track. Um, that's a song that was produced by Mr. Divine. It features Styles P. Um, fucking dope genre. And it it's features um, pretty much D-Block. Styles P, J-Hood, and J-D Kiss. Um, J-Hood, I think, had the best verse of the, out of everybody. I like the one when he said... Yo, it's the baby face gangster product in my environment. Hoodied up and sticking your grandfather for his retirement. Talking super hard when I know you a bitch man. When you a bitch man. Stab your, stab your ass in the esophagus with a switchblade. Yeah, he fucking killed that. Dope shit. So that was track 12. Uh, don't mean nothing. Dope beef right there, too. Uh, track 13. Uh, D-Block featuring J-Hood. Um, I wasn't really too... That was produced by DJ Twins. Or, or the Twins. Uh, wasn't too fond of the beat. Didn't really do anything for me. So I um, could have done without that song too. And last but not least, uh, track 14, um, Mighty D-Block, a.k.a. Two Guns Up. Uh, very, very dope track. It was the first single of the album. Um, I remember that song came coming out, and I remember the year of 2003. That song was all over the mixtapes. Like, it was all over the radios, playing it, everything. It was just so dope, man. Uh, that was produced by DJ Green Lantern, the the videos dope. You see the niggas in jail, you know, with the with the D block set up and all that it was pretty dope. Um pretty much is everybody, um, J Hood, Jada Kiss, Styles P, Sheik Roots, obviously. Um I like the line by Jada Kiss when he says body is friends, maybe they can save the two. Call me kiss or call me the black bay root. That many hits, fuck that. That many bricks, D block, that many niggas. <clears throat> gas, to, gas to your lips Love that Sheik when he said That nigga Sheik rude I'll spit in your food and Tell you woman in, in the family Just suck my dick No respect Fuck that I'm ready you quit Mad weapons in the trunk Bitch Take your pick Such a gren uh, Stick a grenade Up your under, Stick a grenade Up up under your fender Stick a pineapple bomb Under your blender Woo I love that Fucking dope Dope shit right here Alright, so that's pretty much it. That's the, the gist of the album. That's pretty much all the songs of the album. My overall thoughts of the album, um, it could have been a lot better, honestly. Um, out of all three of the of the debut albums, I think this was like the weakest one, in my personal opinion. Um, I've seen some people, you know, I, I saw someone said they preferred this over 
Jada kisses, kiss the game of goodbye. I like I be yo, tweets is on on that one. You plug it on that one, but hey, I respect you here. But this album was not it. Um, I just felt like the album was kind of the beat, the production was the main problem to me personally, and some of the lyrics were kind of questionable. Like I do been through more beef than a beef patty. I've been more, I've been through more beef than a patty. Like come on, bro. Like you, you could do better than that. So that was kind of we kind of you know. Um, it was uninspired, if you will, you know. Um, I, I don't know. I just felt like the beats could have been a lot better, you know, especially coming from those guys, you know, because, again, when you listen to the mixtapes, the mixtapes is what, you know, it's like it's what made this shit hotter, you know what I mean? But then when, you, when it comes to the albums, not so much. But um, that's not this case with Jada Kiss and Styles B. But, um, yeah, this album, I kind of, I, I was a little disappointed with it. I'm not going to lie. I um, expect a little bit better. Um, yeah, it was, it was okay, but again, out of the three, uh, solo debut albums, this is definitely the weaker one, weaker, um, weaker releases, in my opinion, so, um, but yeah, that's just my personal opinion, um, let me know what you guys think of the review, um, definitely stay tuned for more, I, and, and another, another, uh, side note, uh, I know people have asked me in the past, so, because I had another person ask me, I should do ratings, but me personally, I don't really like doing that. It's cool, but everybody else does that. I come from you from a real perspective, like just you know, I'm just a regular person. I just tell you how I feel about the album, like where I was when it came out, and that kind of thing. It just it just seems more authentic for me. So, but I do appreciate the suggestions, but this is not something I would willingly do. But um, I'm doing the best I can as far as like trying to build you guys more content, trying to cover the classic albums that kind of thing so um definitely stay tuned for more i still got more in the chamber some surprises um yeah definitely stay tuned man um the next video i want to do i want to do a cd collection um i did went digging like about a month and a half ago or two months ago and i got some stuff from ebay that came in the mail so definitely will uh do that probably later on the week or whatever though or this weekend or next week you know depending on how i feel but um that's pretty much it guys i hope you guys enjoyed that video uh this video rather uh, definitely let me know what you think all right y'all be easy peace